so glad. Okay, hey ladies, so I'm here today to share with you five products that help me keep my makeup looking the best all day long. And so what I did when I did my makeup today is I only put primer on the, it's my right side. So I guess to you, it would look like the left, but I basically put my foundation primer on the right. And then I did my um, foundation without foundation primer here. So I'm going to talk about what the product does and how I used it. Um, my makeup has been on for a few hours now. So I imagine um, the side with the primer probably looks a little bit better, but I've also been trying to get my lighting right so that you guys can really get a true depiction. So this is our Mary Kay foundation primer. As you can see, my tube is pretty used up because I wear it every morning. Um, over a moisturizer, you wanna put your primer on, a little will go a long way. So a tiny little dot on my finger and I can kind of, I just tap it around my face and rub it in. It dries to like a silky softness. You shouldn't continue to feel anything from that. Um, retails for 20. And this tube lasts a long time because like I said, it's very concentrated. So I've had, I've been working on this one for months. Um, and then your foundation goes on. So my foundation goes on smoother. I feel like it, um, I use less of it when I put it over the primer. The primer also has SPF 15. So it's another layer of sunscreen, which is really important because skin cancer is the fastest growing cancer in America. So, um, you know, it's sort of taken a back seat to all the news with COVID, but it's still something we need to worry about. Those UVA rays and UVB rays are for real. So what I thought I would show you is since it's been on for a few hours, I have my little beauty blotters here. These you get, um, you get 75 of them for only $6 and they fit so nicely in your purse. So I'm going to use two. So I'm going to put um, beauty blotters on the side that I used primer. And then I'm going to use a new one on the side that I didn't use primer just to give you an idea. So my right side is the one that has the primer and I'm going to do my nose because that's usually where a lot of my oil is. And across my cheek here. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side because I am an oily skin person. And so see how much, and I'm gonna do the same area. So side of my nose, over my cheek. I don't know if this is gonna come out okay, but so this is the side, this is the oil with the primer. Okay. And then, oh, camera. This is the one without, and it's it's hard to show on camera, but maybe I should, when I do this, I'll send you a picture. The side without has more oil, like the, the page is more saturated on the side without my primer. So my primer does help my makeup stay in place longer. So I have less of that, but the other thing is I'm so oily that um, it's not that there's not oil. It's just the primer is gonna keep everything intact longer. And so I can see that more has come off on the other side. So I'll take a little picture and post this with that. And I won't forget which one because I, the side with primer got a little lipstick on it. So when you're watching the video, <laughs> like right, right there, <laughs> we'll know that that's the side with the lipstick is the, uh, the side that I did with the primer. Okay, so I'll get, I'll post, I'll save those and post that. Um, the next primer that I use is eye primer. Now eye primer, again, really small too, and a little goes a long way. So I just put a little tiny dot. I use my ring finger because it's the weakest and it goes on my clean eyelid. I even put it a little bit underneath. So I used it on this eye and I didn't use it in this eye. And what I noticed when I was doing my makeup is this one blended really easily and this one took a little bit more work with my brush, okay? The other thing is um, my eyeliner, if you notice, like I feel like the makeup on this side looks a little bolder. And what the primer does is it, it almost like intensifies the color because it gives like a blank canvas and your color can show up a little bit stronger. On this one, I feel like it looks a little lighter and I only felt comfortable doing this um, little exercise because I wasn't leaving my house. So I could um, 
I could make sure that you're only seeing, uh, you know, I could show you guys and, and I wasn't going to walk around looking like her makeup's a little off on one side. All right. So um, eye primer, it holds everything in place. It keeps your, um, uh, it keeps your eye makeup from creasing. So when you, um, now it's been a few hours. I'm surprised actually, I think our Chroma Fusion is really amazing because it hasn't creased together. I was sort of expecting it to not be as, as existent on this lid, but like I said, it's only been a couple of hours. Um, maybe in a few hours, it'll, it will have um, worn off more, but usually when I don't wear primer, um, by the end of the day, the makeup is like all in the center of my eyelid. So what this does is it absorbs the oil that your eyelid creates so that it will not, um, it keeps the makeup intact and in place. And um, the one thing though that I am seeing is how much bolder this eye, sorry, this eye looks with the primer versus this one. Looking at, the, at my face, like it's the opposite on the screen. Okay, the other primer, Okay, so I've talked about foundation primer, I've talked about eye primer. Now I used lash primer. And again, I used our lash primer only on the right eye. And if you notice, like my lashes are um, to me more separated. So on this left eye, when I didn't use the primer, it like clumped together a little bit right here. Um, I did spend a little time trying to separate with the wand of the mascara, but I didn't have to do that on this side. And if you can see, like I'm trying to show you my lashes maybe against my finger. Um, so what, what the primer does is it keeps your mascara from flaking. And I, I use it to kind of separate my lashes. Like it combs them all out. You have um, this brush that has two cotton fibers and polyester fibers and it helps to apply the product. It's clear product, so nobody sees it, but it does help me kind of fan out my lashes and then I go ahead and put the mascara over it. This one retails for 15. It's um, the Mary Kay brand and it lasts, again, our products last a long time. So every, your mascara should be changed out every three months, same with the lash primer, but that's gonna keep it from flaking. I don't have any kind of, um, I should have used our other mascara. We have a really moisturizing mascara called Lash Intensity. And um, without the primer, I would get mascara down here. So I just used my regular Love Lash Mascara, um, which you know does stay in place really well. It is water resistant. But the, with the lash primer, I'm able to really fan out my lashes before putting the mascara on. And I don't have to put lots of coats in mascara. So I really do love that. And I never reapply. I never touch up. If I'm going somewhere in the evening, my makeup's usually really still good from the morning. The last primer I'm going to share about today is our lip primer. And this keeps your lipstick on longer. Um, I always put this on then my lip liner. And today I'm wearing a gloss. And as you can see, the color is still really great. I've been having my little drink of water working in my office and it's still on me. So what this does is it keeps the product on your lips and not on everything else. Um, it does give you about two hours extended wear, whether it be with lipstick um, or lip gloss, because uh, even through eating, because it's grasping the product and keeping it on your lips. So this one retails for 25, I believe. Now that I'm saying that it might be 26, um, 25, I think. And um, again, it, it opens up like a regular, almost like a chapstick, but you don't want to wear it by itself. You do want to follow it with product. Um, so those are our primers that I never go without. So there's four products right there that just take seconds to put on before you actually do the step but it keeps your makeup wearing all day and I'm not touching up. And then our fifth product is our amazing beauty blotters. And that also helps to not have to redo your makeup because you can just take the oil right off your skin and everything looks matte again and you're ready to go. So those are our five products for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me stop. Primer is always help.